Hello, my name is Hector Velasquez and welcome to GCS AA Inside the Shop. Today we're going to be talking about brake systems. Now here we have a few examples of some brake systems that you're going to find out there. We got the drum style brake system, we have a disc style brake system, and then here we have a master cylinder. Together we're going to get into these, we're going to find out how these things work and that'll help us better maintain these brakes. Let's get started. All right, so every brake system is equipped with a master cylinder. This is where you would add your brake fluid to, and this is what the brake pedal's connected. Once activated, it'll push on that piston, forcing brake fluid out these two orifices, which are connected to brake lines. The brake lines then would come to this caliper on this disc brake system. Once brake fluid gets entered into the caliper, it'll push on the piston inside the caliper, which in turn, clamps the disc with two pads. Okay, so now here we have a drum brake system. This is set up a little bit different. As you can see, there's a lot more to it. Here we have a wheel cylinder. The brake line would be connected to that. Once brake fluid enters into this wheel cylinder, it forces out the two pistons, forcing out the pads, which in turn would create friction on the drum. And that's what would stop your vehicle. Okay, so we're going to see what it takes to service a brake system. It's really not that hard at all. We're going to start off by removing the tire and wheel. Next, we're going to remove the drum from the brake system here. There we go. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're going to remove the axle. And this is done by removing an E-clip on the back side. And you don't have to do this. You can completely service these brakes without having to remove this. All right, now removing it, as you can see, it'll give us greater access to the brake system. And I'm just going to put a rag in there. I don't want to contaminate the inside. We're going to move the spring retaining clips. There's two. And this is what's holding the pads in place. And we're going to remove the pads and spring out. Next, we're going to remove the brake cables. And then we're going to remove the brake cable lever. We want to get that cleaned up. And we're going to use brake fluid. You can pick this up at any auto store. And it's really good stuff. And we're just going to spray down this whole system. We're going to remove any brake dust that may be in there. Dirt, debris, oil. Now up here we have the brake pad adjustment. There's two little pistons in there that I want to take off. I want to be able to clean these off properly. They have a tendency to stick in there, so that's important. I'm going to use some emery paper and I'm going to clean the inside of the drum really lightly, just cleaning it up, removing any stuff. Now here's the brake pad. See this shiny part? It, you can see we created a little bit of a crystallization on there. Now we got plenty of beef on this pad, so I'm just going to take that same emery paper and kind of scuff up the surface of that brake pad. And this will help break it in once I put it back together again. Now we're going to grease all the points that those pads are making contact with. This will help with any brake noise that we could potentially be hearing. Also some lube on our brake shoe adjustment. Grease up our brake lever and reinstall that. There we go. All right, now I've installed my springs on my brake pads, and this is just easier way to do this. And I'm just gonna just squeeze it back on there, and then I'm gonna reinstall my brake pad retainers. There we go. All right, everything's back together. I'm going to reinstall the axle. I'm going to reinstall my brake cables. I'm going to reinstall my drum. Now it's time for adjustment. And this is the easiest way I do this. I will start adjusting my brake shoe adjustment until it clamps down. Once I'm having a hard time turning that drum, I will then back off a couple clicks. 
and that feels pretty good. All right, so having a basic understanding of brake system is going to help us better maintain brakes. Now, there's different types of brakes out there, so always refer to your service manual on the specific brake system that you're working on for proper maintenance and adjustment procedures. I want to thank you for joining me here today on GCS AA Inside the Shop, where we're helping technicians one wrench at a time.